Hey, hello and welcome. I'm Best Pro. This is Resident Evil 2, and I don't remember what I was doing. Let's see. Oh, right. Need to go up to the showers. Um, it's... I recorded the first two episodes of this pretty close together and then didn't record... I don't remember what zombies are around. Didn't record this episode three for a while after. And because of that... Mm. Okay, because of that, I don't actually remember what I'm doing. Oh, come on. Come this way. There we go. Um, I've, since I last recorded, I finished Claire's campaign, um, and started another go at Claire's campaign on, uh, Assisted, which is, like, the easy mode. Oh. Uh, because I basically just want to run and get, I missed a raccoon statue. Um. Thought I heard. Oh! Oh my gosh. Okay, hey. I forgot about you. Um, what the? I didn't catch it on the, like, visually, but, uh, she is the zombie from the second floor balcony. She falls down after, oh, come on, after, uh, I don't know, I don't know what triggers her. I just wasted way too much ammo, but, so... <laughs> I've taken to, um, to doing strategy of kind of just shooting all the body parts off. Um, it works pretty well. It works better in, obviously, on assisted mode and, and, uh, with better weapons than this starting handgun, but... Okay, so we're about to encounter a liquor for the first time. Um, this room always freaks me out. And I've been debating how I'm going to handle liquors in this. Uh, this one I've never seen. I don't know that this one can actually become a zombie. I've never seen it happen. Um, as Claire... Oh, right. I'm actually taking a short detour because um, I remembered where a hit pouch is and I want to expand my inventory. Um, as Claire, uh, I don't remember what I was talking about. Probably... Okay, so this is... This is your first what in the... spooky introduction to liquors. Saw a glimpse of it out the window there, but this hall's actually safe. Um, I forget. Yes, and here's a note telling you about liquors. Basically, they're blind and can't. They basically can't hear you unless you're right up close to them, um, or if you're running or shooting. I'm just gonna do this the safe way. That uh, body there can become a zombie um, in some cases. Uh, oh, right. This is... That's where the third medallion statue is. Um, we'll come back here later, though. I'm just here to get... I'm walking because... Oh, there's a liquor in this room later, and even though it's not there now, it, it I still don't want to run because liquors are scary. Oh, right. Uh, how to handle liquors? You can kind of see stuff out there. So as um as Claire, you can one to two shot them with the grenade launcher, and the grenade launcher isn't. I mean, it is really good at killing regular zombies, but it's not uh the kind of 
weapon you really use for that, you're better off using like your submachine gun or um, something else. So I basically just used it for some bosses and for killing uh, liquors. Now, as uh, as Leon, I don't have the grenade launcher. I have the shotgun instead, and that's a lot shorter range and. I don't know that it's as effective as a um, as an anti liquor tool. So what I'm gonna do is uh, okay, yeah, shotgun shells. That's um, I was wondering what would be there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pretend like there aren't liquors. Um, unless you get within a certain distance, they can't. They can't uh, hear you, and you can kind of just get past them. If they're out to a little bit further range, they get suspicious. They'll they'll hear you and start coming towards you, but not necessarily um, not necessarily know that you're there. Just they'll be investigating the sound of footsteps. Yeah. Uh, 9157 in the west office. Okay. I don't remember what's in that. Uh, need this battery for plot reasons. I'm gonna go ahead and... I probably should have made that into shotgun shells, but whatever. Um, flash grenades are good. Well, flash bangs um, are good against... Uh, Liquors because they they make a big loud bang and that uh, stuns them. Don't know what that sound was. I was gonna say I wanted to make sure I got everything so that I didn't have to come here later, but I forgot there is like you have to come here later, or you don't have to. But that's the magnum, and I want the magnum. Uh oh. Oh, uh, since last time I recorded this, I've moved, I've moved my mic down lower because I noticed that I sound really nasally for some reason on all of my recent recordings. Um, I'm gonna, oh, where is it? Okay, but... Okay, so liquors can't go through doors, fortunately. Oh, is this a knife? No, your gunpowder. Okay, well, I've got a slot for it. I don't remember what zombies are alive here. Okay. Um, yeah, so cutting off zombie limbs, doing a leg helps, but doesn't do a ton. Doing both legs helps a lot. If you can get all four, um, limbs off, they're basically just potatoes at that point. They'll deal damage to you if you get too close to them, but they can't, um, grab you or anything. I don't want this. I don't want that. I don't remember the other place I need to use that. Uh, the cutting tool. Um, I know this... Okay, this is I need for something later. Right. Um, which I guess, actually, I need the cutting tool for this uh, door right here, which I didn't look at earlier, but normally if you look at a door and it's locked, it'll tell you how it's locked. Um. Alright, I have mag ammo because I cheated and opened a, uh, a lock that I didn't have the code for yet. I need, I don't have any, I don't have any planks. That's unfortunate. Um, well, so this hallway right here kind of 
sucks, but I have to do it because there's no... This door is locked from the inside, and I can't go back over this wall here. So I have to go all the way up and around here to get into this door. And uh, this entire outer wall is just... There's a bunch of zombies busting through, and unfortunately, I don't have, um, I don't have enough scary music. I don't have enough, um, boards to block them all up. But running is a valid strategy in this game. Not as valid as, say, Dark Souls, but... Okay. Oh, uh, I've also tweaked my graphics a little, because I noticed that in my second video, I had a lot of frame drops. Okay, electronic gadget. Um, that's cap for the locker room, which I guess I need to do. Uh, that's a flashbang, and some boards that I don't have inventory... Oh, I know what I'll do. Mine. Oh, also, this is garbage now. Okay, take this, and now we get out of here before the zombies show up. I don't know how far zombies will follow you. They have pretty limited AI, it seems like, for that kind of thing. Uh... Okay, yeah, he's over there. So, funny thing, um, the zombie placement in rooms are random. Um, to some degree, they have certain locations that they can be in, and it'll just stick them in one of those locations. Um, and it does that regardless of whether or not, uh, the zombie has any arms or legs. And so, in cases where I have shot, um, in my Claire, uh, campaign on Assisted, I have... Uh, that one zombie in the west office, I shot all of its uh, limbs off, and um, it it's still... Oh, I need to get in that safe, don't I? Uh, it still teleports around the room when I'm not there. West office 1, it's 9.15.7. Okay, well, I'm, I'm going to save, but there's no reason for me not to do it. I save all the time, but I actually only died, I think, three times, um, doing Claire's campaign. Uh, and I finished with, like, 80-something saves. Uh, I died, um, second to last boss, uh, first boss, well, I don't have a grenade. Okay, uh, gosh, I forgot what the code was. I don't know how I snuck past him like that. Uh, 9, 15, 7. 9. 15. 7. What kind of safe only has 16 numbers on it? Seems very unsafe. Okay, well, that's, that's worth it. Oh, well, too late for that. Yeah, see, he can still kind of crawl around, but he can't really chase me. Um, I tweaked my graphics down because I noticed in the second episode of me playing RE2, I had some frame droppings. Frame droppings? Uh, no, I dropped frames at, at a few points, and I wanted that to not happen. Oh, I already had the, the thing on me. I'm gonna ditch this key just because it's bugging me. Discard. Okay. So, I guess now we just need to go use the detonator. Unfortunately, um, there's a guaranteed, uh, there's a guaranteed liquor fight, uh, there, um, when you when you use the uh, detonator, it it just spawns liquor in the room, and I don't know how to fight liquors as Leon. Um, 
but I guess we'll find out together. Oh, well, he didn't seem to see me. Ah, uh, this is what I didn't want. Shit. Okay. The reason I'm uh, down there, there's a zombie just eating a dude, and there's a um, there's a ladder there I can use, but I want to avoid triggering that zombie as long as possible. <sighs> okay. So, I'm just going to go ahead and shoot this guy, see if he wakes up. No, okay. Um, I don't know that that means he won't wake up later, because he did wake up in um, my first campaign as Claire, but uh, he didn't wake up in my second one, but that was also unassisted. So, I don't know for sure. I'm going to go ahead and pick up this. So my plan right now is um, for fighting the uh, the liquor that is. I'm going to uh, set off the detonator. Um, I have a brief period of time after I do that before it goes off. And during this time, I'm going to do something I found out watching speedruns. You can uh, go through the store and then come back, and it prevents... Okay, that's the sound of the liquor um, being drawn by the explosion. Uh, I died to this liquor the first time I played um, as Claire, uh, Lady Bowsnake, which I guess would be uh, Virgo, Sagittarius, and I don't like that I can hear the sounds while I'm in the thing. That doesn't help me concentrate on puzzles. I died to the liquor as um, Claire because I just wasn't prepared. It's here. I don't know where it is. It's normally... I thought it was normally right there. Okay. Son of a bitch. Okay, dodge. Okay, let's take some herbs. Is is that is that dead? Yes, that's dead. Okay, but that was all of my shotgun shells. Let me consult the uses of gunpowder. I can make shotgun shells with high-grade gunpowder and um, and uh, regular gunpowder. Oh, so he did end up standing up. Okay. That's good to know. I already shot you in the head once while you're dead. I hope that counted. Okay, well, he's dead, and I'm out of knife now. I don't know. Oh, there was gunpowder over here, wasn't there? No? What's left? It's not marking this place off. Oh. Handgun ammo. Appreciated. Ugh. Stop moving. Normally, uh, the reason I ran through here and back is normally this bookshelf falls in the explosion and you have to then move it to get um, back out. And you can't really do that while the liquor's on you. It doesn't, because I killed the liquor instead of running, it doesn't actually matter, but I did it anyway. I don't like that I can't see. There should, okay, there's one of the zombies. Where's Miss No's No Legs? Okay, well. 
I, I don't know where she was, but hopefully she's not anywhere that matters. Uh, okay, so I guess we're coming up on the first boss. I kind of want to have a uh, shotgun ammo for that. I don't know. I want to... I think what I want to do is avoid all liquors possible and uh, just use shotgun on, like, bosses and strategically taking out certain zombies. But... We'll see. Do I want to go through here? There's a bunch of stuff around here that I haven't gotten. There's high-grade gunpowder. There's handgun ammo. There's green herb. Oh, I missed when board's over there. There's a lot. I'm about to... If I go through uh, the secret passage, it's a little while before I can get back here. And I want to make sure that I don't run out of stuff. Oh, I especially want a knife. Do I... Is there a knife anywhere? Okay, there's a knife. Oh, right. Okay, I know where that knife is. There's a uh, knife that spawns in one of the zombies in the library's heads. Okay. Here's hoping I don't get ganked. Oh, hey, that guy is back over in his other position there. And Miss No Legs is back up in her position up there. I'm tempted to go back and get the high-grade gunpowder from that one. Uh, I guess that's the... is that the East Office? Yes, from the East Office, but... Oh, I don't, I don't want to deal with all the zombies. So I'm just gonna... I know that the boss fight has a lot of um, uh, items in it. I'll probably do the boss fight and then end it for the night. Goes underground. Huh. That's it. That's, That's what the right. diagram in the notebook Jennifer said. Anna. Marvin, it's time to go. Hey, Marvin, <laughs> we need to get you to a hospital right now. Where are you gonna find the hospital? Save yourself. Come on, I've got you. Go. Look, we can still make it out of here together. Just give me... It's too late. I tried, Leon. But I could stop it. We can't let this thing spread. It's on you now. Just go. I understand. I'm sure it'll be fine. So, I won't let you down, Marvin. The point of this game is at first like get to the police department and see what's going on, and then as soon as you get there, it's like, well, I guess we need to get out of the police department now. But I mean, it seems like we could just go back out the way we came. I mean, we barricaded... Ooh, shotgun shells. We barricaded the... Or Marvin did while we were out um, doing stuff, uh, getting the notebook. Uh, he barricaded the, the place from the inside, and yeah, there were zombies out in the... Uh, yes, I'm saving again. Yes, there were zombies out in the street, but it seemed, there are zombies in here also. I don't think there's a real advantage to us like, trying to puzzle our way out of the police department versus just, like, backtracking and get find, like finding a car that uh, we can use. 
because as of yet, we don't have any other plot points, um, which we'll get to. I don't remember when exactly for uh, for Leon, but Claire would be getting her first, like, oh, I can't just leave thing. Frag grenade. Uh, I don't know what this is as Leon. It looks like some sort of barrel attachment. I don't know for what, though. Uh, I, I don't get to unlock that until m much later, unfortunately. Because various reasons, um, even though we get back to the, uh, the police department before long, uh, there is, um, we can't get back into this specific location for a while. What the? Okay. I had a, a minute of hesitation because I I watched a lot of like speedruns of this recently and I thought there was an instance of a liquor doing something like that, but that might have been in one of the like side runs. <laughs> oh no. That's not a zombie. So this is uh, the boss fight referred to as G1. Um, that's G1 or uh, William Birkin. We'll learn his name is. Uh, this fight, I basically kite him around. Um, try not to get hit by his pipe. Uh, the main thing is this area is kind of maze-like. And so... Uh, if you don't know what uh, sort of um, which direction you need to go, you can get backed into a corner, which is not good. Because he can actually deal a fair bit of damage. But you just kind of go for headshots in this first phase. And then shoulder eye. I'm just, uh, I mean, I could shotgun. I th think I'm going to save shotguns for things that I can't kite, like liquors. Ow. Okay, that hurt. And I don't actually remember if I brought, if I brought any healing items. Uh, oh man, he is right behind me. I'm going to... Okay, well, that's my knife, which is unfortunate, because I only have the one. And, uh, so this game, the way damage on the knife works is it deals a certain amount of damage per, um, uh, frame that it's in contact with the enemy's hitbox. And so, depending on your frame rate, uh, you can get a lot of um, damage in with the knife, like absolutely ridiculous amounts of damage. Oh, am I dead? No, okay. I was just, it didn't pop up, oh, I yeah, I don't have any healing items on me. It didn't pop up like a danger thing, and that makes me usually think that it killed me outright. Okay, yeah, I know how to combine items already. I wish you could turn off tutorials in this. Uh, I don't want to get backed into a corner here. Oh, is he... Another phase? I don't remember him stopping like that. <laughs> you can kind of just stun lock him at times. But, uh... So, I don't know at what, fr like, how, what frame rate you have to have for 
um, knifing to be the optimal DPS against... Oh, I don't have... Oh, I do have a grenade, though. So using a grenade like that, where I'm using it as a reactionary item... Um, okay, now I'm using the uh, those herbs that I mixed. Because I'm in danger. Uh, using an herb as... at herb. Using a... Uh, oh, hey, that's the boss. Using a grenade as a reaction item instead of uh, an offensive item makes it deal significantly less damage. No one could have survived that. If me referring to him as G1 didn't tip you off, we, we fight him several more times. Somebody's watching me. Um, there's a lot of items down here. I just need to check the four corners. I don't know um, what FPS you have to have in order for uh, slashing with the knife to be more effective than um, than uh, shooting with a gun. But for bosses, I just do it. I'm running at like 60 FPS. I know... Um, I know at, like, 120, it's definitely more worth it, uh, because that's what I see. It was discussed in a speedrun I watched. Oh, and I get my knife back. From, uh, killing him. Um, oh, I never went and got that locker that I found the combination to. So, because this is out, um, I can't actually backtrack to the, um, that office area and that thing I need to unlock until much later in the game. This is kind of the second phase of the game, um, which is, uh, the kind of, uh, upper eastern half of the, um, of the police department. After that, uh, there's, like, a sewer portion, and then, um, during the sewer portion, which is, uh, like, part four of the game, I can get back, uh, to this area. There's only, like, five parts to the game. There's first part of, um, of RPD, there's, um, second part of RPD, there's sewers, Oh, oh, well, when I was counting, I was thinking of this section as, like, a its own little baby section. But, no, I guess I guess there's four parts to the game. Two parts of the um, RPD, and then sewers, and then the lab. Uh, don't want this on me. I'll keep the herbs and just combine them. I know I said we'd leave it off here, but there's actually a cutscene that I want to get through just because it kind of sets up the next uh, section. So, speaking of getting a car that works, there's a lot of cars here, and some of them are really crashed up, and I don't really know why that's the case. Damn. Need a key card. Oh! Oh, wait, yeah. <laughs> I, I forgot how this uh, cutscene plays out, and I wasn't expecting the dog. Who is, who is that is what you say when you're talking to yourself, but not what you say when you're asking who someone is. Lower it. FBI. 
sorry. Thank you. For your help. Surprised you made it this far. FBI, huh? Wait, why is she wearing her coat and sunglasses? Oh, I'm wearing my alternate costume. Do yourself a favor. Stop asking questions and get the hell out of here. She's normally not wearing that dress. She normally has like a trench coat and uh, sunglasses on over uh, over that. But I can costumes. I forgot that I was messing with my costumes earlier. This is what I'm actually supposed to be wearing. But, uh... Hey! I'm not done talking to you! Okay, well... That's, um... Ada Wong, uh, who will get to know a bit more over the course of Leon's campaign. Um, Leon interacts with, um, Ada in this, and later parts, while Claire interacts with a little girl named Sherry... Uh, who's looking for her mother. Um, but yeah, we'll do that stuff next time. I'm excited because this next portion, there's a lot that's different from uh, Claire's campaign. But until then, goodbye, audience. <laughs>